I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video we're going to be installing this power strip to the wall here. This is a piece of pressure treated plywood on the wall. I want to get it screwed up there and I'm going to be using a technique that makes it really, really easy. In the past I used to have no trouble putting them up. What you do is you look for the little holes in the back. These uh, little holes have little slots for a screw to go in and then kind of slide up, lock the thing to the wall. Uh, what I would do is I would just kind of measure them out, find out the distance between the two, kind of measure out the distance on the wall, put the screws in, and then put the thing up. But I found a way that it's a lot easier to do it, and uh, I'm really all about this method. What you do is you take the back of your power strip, take a piece of paper uh, that is going to cover up both of the holes that you're going to be putting screws into. I like to usually kind of line it up along the edge of the power strip just so everything's nice and straight. And then what you do is you just push into the paper and make a mark like that. Let's find the other one. I'm just making dents right in this paper here. So there's a mark there and a mark there which is kind of like the relief of where the holes are. Usually I would do this down on a, a flat surface so it's easier. You don't want the paper kind of shifting around because you want the, these marks to be lined up with the marks that you have on the back of your power strip. And now what I do is I just decide where I want to put the power strip. I put my marks uh, right there up on the wall where I want to mount it. I think I'm going to put it right around here. The fact that I had the piece of paper uh, square with the, uh, the power strip makes it so that as long as I line the paper up square in front of me, uh, everything's still going to line up. I got my screws. And what I do is I just put them exactly where you would want them to be in, uh, in those little divots. One in. The only trick here is just kind of making sure uh, you have the screws uh, screwed in the right amount. You don't want them too much. You don't want them too little. Uh, if they're screwed in too much, you can't slide the power strip onto it. If they're in too little, then uh, things going to be wobbly on the wall. All right, so I, I've got both of these guys in there, just about. And then at this point, I just take the paper away. There we go. And I'll still use most of this paper. It's still good scrap paper, so I don't have to throw that out or anything. Now I got my two screws in place, and now it's just a matter of uh, playing with them and making sure that they are, you know, in enough. This is still kind of wobbly there, so that, uh, mostly on the bottom, so that means I gotta just uh, screw in this bottom screw a little more. And I think the top one could use a little bit as well. Let me try that. But in terms of the registration and lining up, that makes it really, really easy. All right, bottom one needs a little bit more tightening, but you get the idea. Uh, use the piece of paper template, put them in there, and it's going to get your screws exactly where they need to be. That's it. I hope you find this technique helpful. I certainly have. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.